money, boys and girls. My good friends, Susie Sunshine and Godfrey, have asked me to come talk to you this morning. My name is Professor Big Head. Not sure why they call me Big Head. It must be because of what I have up here. Oh, anyway, uh, I'm here to talk to you about the floods in your life. There are many floods in your life, and they can be very scary. Can you imagine how scary it was for Noah and his family when they, when God told him he was going to make it rain for 40 days and 40 nights, and the whole earth would be flooded? Noah had to have a, a lot of faith for him to get his family on that ark. And oh, God, he did keep his promise, as he always does. There was a rainbow, and the sky, and the water, it went down. Have you ever went to bed thinking about a test that you were going to have in school? You know you studied as best as you could, but still, you're scared. You will not make a good grade. Best thing to do is to trust in God. Give it to Him, and you go ahead and get a good night's rest. Then, there's the time. Oh, just think, you were up to the plate. Three on base, two outs. Oh, my, how scary can that be? Then you may have to move, you know. Your dad has a great new job, but you have to leave your home, your school, and oh no, all your friends. That can really get to be a scary one. Another one, it is time for your dentist appointment. And what if you have a cavity? And they have to drill your tooth or worse. Ah, pull it. My, my, my. All these things can be floods in your life. Sometimes the floods come in form of health problems. You get sick, or maybe your brother or sister gets sick. There are so many floods in our lives, just like the one, well, the one we're in now. Not being able to finish up our school year, not being able to be on a sports team this summer, not able to go, you know, on a family vacation that you might have been planning for a long time. Not being able to spend time with your friends and having those fun swim parties and overnight parties. We are all facing floods right now. And I want you to know that God is here. God loves you. He wants to help you through the floods, just as he did Noah and his family. God will help you and your family when we are faithful to God, when we give our hearts to him and our floods to him. He is faithful to hear our prayers and answer us. Whatever floods may come our way, God will be there for us, whether it's bullies, sickness, bad dreams, danger. God will help us to stay afloat and he will carry us to safety. God is there to protect those who love him. Remember, waters will go down and the flood will go away. Give your fear to God. God will show you how to float and he will protect you. Well, my prayer for you today, my dear children, is God take away your fears and protect you. In Jesus' name, amen. Signing off, Professor Bighead.